Hello, gang. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Sess. You may know me some from such videos as Rust and Divey. I don't really play anything else. Don't really care. All right, what this video is, it's a video on Daisy and getting the plugins to work in Linux. Right, I'm not sure why it doesn't. I think there's a file naming convention that doesn't work in Linux the same way it doesn't in Windows. Let me say it this way. Windows blows. Linux probably does it better. But we'll see. Okay. So anyway, here's the deal. I'm going to go through. This is the easiest way. I've tried the other ways. I never could really get them to work. Or they were too complex for my simple brain. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So the first thing you want to do is go to Valters Thompson's Daisy Launcher Unix Patcher. Now, I'll put the link in the... Uh, description and the information uh, in the video down below so you can go right here so what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to download this thing right i've already got to download it so download it wherever you want to and it looks like this right here um why do i have a zip on there i don't know anyway it's a it's this and you're just going to extract here right um but i've already got it so i'm just going to cancel right so once you get that untarred just simply right click on it and extract here i'm using linux mint 21.1 eagerly awaiting 21.2 so most distros have this in your gui or you can do a command line i'm not doing a command line that's that's i love to do command line stuff but this is gaming we don't do a lot of command line so you're going to download that puppy from from here and I got to say, I this guy, thank you so much uh, for doing this because it makes Daisy so much more playable and enjoyable in Linux. So let's go ahead and minimize that. That's on GitHub. Then we've got this done, right? So then we're going to go under our folder. And then we're going to go into this binary folder, right? And then we're going to see all this stuff. It's kind of scary. Ooh, too much stuff to look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, open in terminal. Let me stretch this out so it's a little easier to see. And then we're going to do, we don't, we don't need to be root for this. Um, dot slash D. And that's going to put that up there, right? But what we have to do to make this work is go into um, Steam. This is the new, the updated... Um, Steam, that's kind of nice. And we're going to go into Daisy and we're going to go to our little manage, our little gears over here on the side. You can see right there. And then we're going to go to manage, browse local files. And then we're going to click this here if you're in Linux Mint. And we need this path. So we're going to right click, copy. We're just going to leave that there. Then we're going to go back here. We're going to right click and paste. And we're going to hit enter. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That's it. So let's do it again. So you're going to download your launcher. You're going to right click. Extract here, which I've already done, which is right here. See my little purple folder. And then we're going to go into that. Let me close this out of the way. We're going to go into that. And then we're going to go into the binary folder. All right, and then we're going to open, right click in a white space, not on a file, in a note, just a blank white space. We can clear to the bottom here, just click on one. Um, open in terminal, and then we have our terminal window that's open, right? So I'm going to stretch that out again. But now we need to, this is the part where we go back to Steam, and we're going to click on manage, go to manage, browse local files. Again, if this is meant, you just need the file path. I'm going to right click, copy. And then we do dot forward slash capital D. And all I do is hit tab. That's going to give me the file that needs to run. And then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to paste. And I'm going to run it. And as you can see, warning backup details already exist. Overwriting, proton prefix found, patching finished. Okay. That's all we got to do. So let's minimize all this stuff here. Let's get this out of the way. 
Now, <clears throat> you probably have to do this after every major update or update. I haven't figured that part out yet. So now I have day Z, right? <clears throat> and you can see I got 268 hours. Woohoo! Coming close to my 4500 in Rust, which runs in Linux. But because of the shenanigans and just the slimy, slithery nature of the people that run Rust, they won't let it run on Linux. And it is a choice at this point. Okay, I digress. So we're going to hit play. And we want to play Daisy. So I'm going to click play. And that's gonna uh, that's gonna do its thing. Now I get this all the time. It looks like your settings are corrupted. We will need to reset them to default to continue. Okay, that comes up every time. I don't know why, and I don't care. All right. So as you can see here, right here, my mods are loaded, loading. And you're like, well, what if it's not really Linux? What if you're lying to me? No, it's Linux Mint. Look here. That's Linux Mint. Oh, here, look here. I'll show you. That's Linux Mint. This is not Windows. I know you're saying big deal, but the mods are loading. 